We must not exhaust our supplies. Enough! As you say. Come, let us end this. Ball, blast you! More enemies ahead. Very well. As you say. Very well. The old cover has begun. Ball, blast you! Together we shall leave this place. There, you both are. I was. Bryce. Wondering when you would get here. Maker's blood, what's happening? You're bleeding. Owl's men found me first. Almost did me in right there. He can't get away with this. The king will... Bryce, we must get you out of here. I... I won't survive the standing, I think. Once Hal's men break through the gate, they will find us. We must go. Someone must reach Burgess. Tell him what has happened. If he lives, yes. Bryce, no. The servant's passage is right here. We can flee together, find you healing magic. The castle is surrounded. I cannot make it. I'm afraid the turn is correct. Howe's men have not yet discovered this exit, but they surround the castle. Getting past will be difficult. You are Duncan, then? The Grey Warden? Yes, your ladyship. The turn and I tried to reach you sooner. My youngest son helped me get here. Make her be praised. I am not surprised. I did not wish to leave your father alone. Whatever is to be done now, it must be quick. They are coming. Duncan, you are under no obligation to me. But I beg you, take my wife and son to safety. I will, your lordship. But I fear I must ask for something in return. Anything. What is happening here pales in comparison to the evil now loose in this world. I came to your castle seeking a recruit. The Darkspawn threat demands that I leave with one. I... I understand. Truthfully, you were always my first choice. I will take the Tirna and your son to Ostagar to tell Fergus and the King what happened. Then, your son joins the Grey Wardens. So long as justice comes to Hal. I agree. Then I offer you a place within the Grey Wardens. Fight with us. We must leave quickly then. Bryce, are you sure? Our son will not die of Hal's treachery. He will live and make his mark on the world. Darling, go with Duncan. You have a better chance to escape without me. Eleanor. Hush, Bryce. I'll kill every bastard that comes through that door to buy them time. But I won't abandon you. Then live, darling. Become a Grey Warden and do what is right. I'm so sorry it's come to this, my love. We had a good life and did all we could. It's up to our children now. Then go, pup. Warn your brother. We love you both. You do us proud. They've broken through the gates. We must go now. Goodbye, darling.
We will be traveling south through the hinterlands to the ruin of Ostagar on the edges of the Kokari Wilds. The Tevinter Imperium built Ostagar long ago to prevent the Wilders from invading the northern lowlands. It's fitting we make our stand here, even if we face a different foe within that forest. The King's forces have clashed with the Darkspawn several times, but here is where the bulk of the Horde will show itself. There are only a few Grey Wardens within Ferelden at the moment, but all of us are here. This blight must be stopped, here and now. If it spreads to the north, Ferelden will fall. Ho oh there, Duncan. King Caelan. I didn't expect a... A royal welcome? I was beginning to worry you'd miss all the fun. Not if I could help it, Your Majesty. Then I'll have the mighty Duncan at my side in battle after all. Glorious. The other wardens told me you'd found a promising recruit. I take it this is he? Allow me to introduce you, Your Majesty. No need, Duncan. You are Bryce's youngest, are you not? I don't think we've ever actually met. Is it about your father? Your brother has been concerned about him. Dead? What do you mean? Duncan, do you know anything about this? Terran Kuzland and his wife are dead, Your Majesty. Arl Howe has shown himself a traitor and overtaken High Ever Castle. Had we not escaped, he would have killed us and told you any story he wished. I can scarcely believe it. Well, how could he think he could get away with such treachery? As soon as we are done here, I will turn my army north and bring Howe to justice. You have my word. No doubt you wish to see your brother. Unfortunately, he and his men are scouting in the wilds. Of that, I have no doubt. You will see him again once the battle is over, I am certain. I apologize, but there's nothing more I can do. All I can suggest is that you vent your grief against the Darkspawn for the time being. I'm sorry to cut this short, but I should return to my tent. Loghain waits eagerly to bore me with his strategies. Your uncle sends his greetings and reminds you that Redcliffe forces could be here in less than a week. Ha! <laughs> Eamon just wants in on the glory. We've won three battles against these monsters, and tomorrow should be no different. I'm not even sure this is a true blight. There are plenty of Darkspawn on the field, but alas, we've seen no sign of an Archdemon. Disappointed, Your Majesty? I'd hoped for a war like in the tales. You know, a king riding with the fabled Grey Wardens against a tainted god. But I suppose this will have to do. I must go before Loghain sends out a search party. Farewell, Grey Wardens. What the king said is true. They've won several battles against the Darkspawn here. Despite the victory so far, the Darkspawn horde grows larger with each passing day. By now, they look to outnumber us. I know there is an archdemon behind this, but I cannot ask the king to act solely on my feeling. Yet not enough to wait for reinforcements from the Grey Wardens of Orlais. He believes our legend alone makes him invulnerable. Our numbers in Ferelden are too few. We must do what we can and look to Terran Loghain to make up the difference. To that end, we should proceed with the joining ritual without delay. <laughs> I agree. We have until nightfall to begin the ritual. Every recruit must go through a secret ritual we call the Joining, in order to become a Grey Warden. The ritual is brief, but some preparation is required. We must begin soon. Feel free to explore the camp here as you wish. All I ask is that you do not leave it for the time being. There is another Grey Warden in the camp by the name of Alistair. When you're ready, seek him out and tell him it's time to summon the other recruits. Your hound can stay with me while I attend to some business. <coughs> the Grey Warden tent is on the other side of this bridge. You will find us there should you need to.
help however I can. Hale, you must be the Grey Warden recruit that Duncan brought. We stand here in this hour, good folk of Ferelden. Greetings, young man. You are Duncan's newest recruit, are you not? He's not a man easily impressed. You should be proud. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Wynne, one of the mages summoned by the King. Well met. And good luck to you on the battlefield. To us all, in fact. Not precisely. The Grey Wardens will be on the front lines, not the mages. Still, we have our parts to play. To defeat the Darkspawn, we have to work together. It's not an idea everyone seems able to grasp. Stragglers, yes. Not the vast horde the scouts speak of. I wonder... How much do you know of the connection between Darkspawn and the Fade? Any time your spirit leaves your earthly body, whether it's to dream or to die, it passes into the realm we call the Fade. It's home to many spirits, some benevolent, others far less so. At the heart of the Fade lies the Black City. Some say the Black City was once the seat of the Maker. But when the mages from the Tevinter Imperium found a way into the city, it was tainted with their sin. That taint transformed those men, turning them into twisted reflections of their own hearts. And the Maker cast them back to the Earth, where they became the first Darkspawn. At least, that's what the Chant of Light says. It may be allegory, meant to teach us that our own evil causes human suffering. Or it may be true. It is as good an explanation as any for now. Yes, occasionally it's wise to contemplate one's actions. But I'm certain Duncan has more for you to do than talk to me. That is no failure, my friend. I'll find you. So, any last wishes I can help fulfill before you head into... Have you seen an elf running about? Young woman, red hair, carrying a suit of chain. Blast it. Where did she go? That suit better be patched up when she gets back or by the maker up. No, oh, pardon my manners. My troubles are no concern of yours, I'm sure. Oh, I'm the quartermaster. Did you come for supplies? Let me know what you'd like. Life is fleeting, you know. That pretty face could be decorating... Hello again. Is there something you need? Some supplies, perhaps? Let me know what you'd like. Shall I take that quiet glare as a no? I am done. Oh, well, too bad. Well, you're not what I thought you'd be. Me? I was hoping for a comely lass with golden hair and terrible eyesight. <laughs> the name's Davith. <laughs> it's about bloody time you came along. I was beginning to think they cooked this ritual up just for our benefit. <laughs> that depends on what kind of life you've led. Me, I'm perfectly willing to accept that this joining is some kind of punishment. I happened to be sneaking around camp last night, see, and I heard a couple of Grey Wardens talking. So, I listen in for a bit. I'm thinking they plan to send us into the wilds. It's all too secretive for me. Makes my nose twitch. I guess we'll have to wait and see, <laughs> like we have a choice. 
<laughs> you sound just like the bloody knight. Well, more power to you. Anyway, I expect it's time to get back to Duncan. That's where I'll be if you need me for anything. In the name of Andraste, I bless you today. May you find favor in the name huh. of I. Someone finally comes and talks to the lone prisoner. I don't suppose you've come to sentence me. I don't suppose you have a bit of kindness in you. All I want is food and water. They haven't fed me since I was locked up and I'm starving. I'm a deserter. Or so they think. I bet there's no arguing them out of it, though. Armies are funny that way. I wasn't deserting. But when you catch someone sneaking around camp in the middle of the night, what else are you going to think? Does it matter? All I want is a bit of food and water. <laughs> You're a funny one. They won't listen to you no matter what you think. Not that I wouldn't mind you trying. You're a good sort. And it's not as if they're wrong. I probably would have deserted later. Just not when they caught me is all. Hope that doesn't spoil your opinion of me. I'm still hungry enough to eat my shoe. Because you might want something I don't need. Them circle wizards got a chest they keep things in. Magical things. And I stole the key. That's why I'm here. I got one of them drunk, took his key and tried to sneak to the chest. They assumed I was deserting. I can't use it from here. But I'd trade you for some food and water. I swallowed it. But it's... Uh, come back into my possession since then, so to speak. Yeah, well, do you want the key or not? What? But you can't do that. Ah, God! What? What in Andraste's name did you do that for? Just because you're a Grey Warden doesn't give you the right to go and kill anyone you please. Explain yourself. Hmm. I suppose you did it there. Fair enough. Well, no skin off my teeth. When they ask me why he's dead, that's what I'll tell them. It is over. Greetings. You must be the third recruit we've heard about. Sir Jury is my name. I hail from Redcliffe, where I served as knight under the command of Arl Eamon. You have the bearing of a man who knows how to fight. If I may ask, were you a soldier before you came here? Are you a nobleman? I am honored to be in your company, my lord. I hope we're both lucky enough to eventually join the Wardens. Is it not thrilling to be given that chance? I fought hard to get here. Impressing Duncan was not easy. Tell me. Has anyone told you what this joining ritual entails? I never heard of such a ritual. I had no idea there were more tests after getting recruited. I suppose since you're finally here, I'd best get back to Duncan. I shall see you there. Ah, I suspect you are one of the new Grey Wardens. Will you accept the Maker's blessing? Then I bless you, Grey Warden, in the name of Andraste and the Maker above. May the chant of light carry your name to the ears of our Lord.